you guys like movies? I got a DVD case and a blank disc. Okay? So go ahead and sign it, and they can sign it. You can show us the blank disc. You can show everything here. You take the disc after it's signed, you put it in the case like so, and you close it up like so. Okay? Then you bring out some tickets and the movie tickets. You got Titanic, Skyfall, Pipe Club, Toy Story, Star Wars, The Matrix 7, and a bunch of other films. Now they can select any one of these completely freely as possible. And it's true, you can have them select any one. Let's take this one. I have no idea what it is. Oh, and it's Kill Bill. Kill Bill, I want you to make sure you can see that on camera. I'm going to hold it. I don't want you to, so you can see it, okay? So that's the movie theater ticket, and then you can show that the other ones, like you said, are Star Wars, Matrix, Titanic, Fight Club, so on and so forth. Now, you show the DVD disc, you take it like this, and you pick it up, and you say, what did you say? Kill Bill. And you show that, it's Kill Bill. And you can put it in their hands if you want to. And then you say to them, you say, well, you know what, I don't like my movies just by itself. I like them packaged all the way. And then you show that Kill Bill is actually packaged all the way. And you can show front and back. And the cool thing about this is, everything can be completely examinable now. Everything. The disc itself, everything. The disc, uh, the DVD case. Once you finish it, the, the disc itself would have their signature on it. Okay, so this is um, called the movie by G Magic. It comes with a little card, a business card that you get, and you can, you know, type in. It says G Magic slash, uh, and then it's got it says video such and such, and it's got slash such and such instructional tutorial whatever. Then you put in a, a password when you go there, so you don't have to try to find it on the website itself where the secret password is. You just type slash instructional pa uh, videos and such and such. So you go to gmagic.com and you do that, and it comes with all the instructions. You type in the password, then it'll show a bunch of different videos. I think there's like 10 videos on this that show you how to break it down. How to do the gimmick itself, how to do the DVD, how, to, how, how it works, how you can buy extra DVDs. Um, of course, this is a blank disc that it comes with. So it comes with a gimmick, it comes with a blank disc. If you want this signed with a Sharpie, I just want to clear this up. That um, you have to get rid of it every time. Now you could use like a dry erase marker, and and you could use it every time. If you were to use this as a as a as an effect, well, you can't really give it away. I, I can't say you can give away the CD because they might find the gimmick itself. But everything else is is great. I get this. I was gonna give it a seven out of ten because there is a risky move involved, but. As a performance wise, I've done this one time, it's 8 out of 10. And the reason I don't give it a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 is because it's Kill Bill. And, and I love that movie. I love all the Quentin Tarantino movies, but there's a problem. You can't perform it at a kid's party. You can't perform it at a church function. You can't perform it at a Cub Scout banquet. You can't perform it at a family affair. You can't perform it at a fair or a festival where there's families. Pretty much anywhere there's kids or families involved. This is something that you can only perform for in an adult type setting. It's like, uh, it's kind of like some Andy Nyman effects, like Killer Leap. You can't really do Killer Leap for kids. <laughs> so, this is kind of, a, it's just more of an adult theme. Now, when I went to gmagic.com, they just came out with it not too long ago. The extra ones you have, uh, you have, they don't have any really super popular movies. I think they have E.T. And they have, they have The Incredibles, like Pixar. And they don't have Star Wars or anything like that. They don't have any movies. That would be great if they made Star Wars. So if you're watching G-Magic, make one with the original Star Wars or any Star Wars. <laughs> and any seven of those Star Wars movies is fine with me. That's what I'm looking for. But it gives it any time because it's Kill Bill. And there is a risk move involved. And, it, and it, to me, it kind of makes a little bit of a noise. And it, and it didn't get a 9 out of 10 because it's, it's a little pricey for what you get. There's a lot of props out there that made sense. Like this costs $60. Like uh, Cardiographic, I'll pay $150 for it because you can't go out to the store and really make it. You, can't, you, can, you can make it at a craft store, but it's really hard to make. Uh, 
uh, sketch I just got by Shrove Miranda. That's not something you can go to a craft store and make, and that was cheaper than this. And actually, the, in my opinion, the sketch gets more uh, wows than I perform this at the same party. But this is a great effect if you perform for adults and they're really big fans of Quentin Tarantino, even if they're not. If they're movie fans and you say you ever heard of Kill Bill, yeah, most people have heard of it. But like I said, it, it takes a couple of degrees, it takes, like, it gets lower rating than, than a 9 out of 10. Not because it's not a wow factor, I would give it a 9 out of 10 for the wow factor, but it gives it an 8 out of 10 because, again, because it's more of an adult thing show, it's more... I mean, I'm glad he doesn't have, like, The Last Tangle in Paris or something kind of like that, which is super adult-themed. But Kill Bill, because of the violent nature of the film, you really can't perform this for families. They might get really pissed off at you, or even church functions. So again, if you go this, uh, if you go to G-Magic, I know you could buy a five-pack of this, but it's like $100 extra. So it's like $160 together. You pay 60 bucks for this, then you buy a three-pack of whatever the other movies he has, like E.T. and all that stuff, and like, the, the, like the kid pack, and then they charge you like $100 extra, because, the, the, because I'm sure because he's got the licensing right of the, 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 the disc itself, and because this is made uh, a certain way. And again, I took, some, uh, I took another notch off of this because I thought it was more like a... Uh, a flap gimmick, kind of like a Mark Mason effect where you have a double flap. It's not, it, it can be handed out, which gives it a higher rating than, than, it, than I would give it. But again, because it's something that you can make out of any DVD, but the problem with this is you probably have to get a license to make the disc itself. Because you, this is not a real disc, it won't play, it's blank. But this is something you could make on your own which takes it away from the, the value of $50. It's more like a $45 trick. I would have no problem paying $45 for this. But since it's $60, it's a little overpriced, and that made the rating go down another notch. But the well factor is still an 8 out of 10, so you can't be that. 8 out of 10 is great, and I performed it, like I said, for one adult-type function. I did like a, a, it was more like in a bar-type atmosphere. And, you know, I was behind the bar and I was talking to people and I was performing magic in that kind of atmosphere. And I liked it a lot. But again, you can't reset it in front of something. So it takes a little... The reset is probably about 15 seconds. But anyway, 8 out of 10, that's a good rating for this. I do like it. I wish they had more... Uh, I wish they had made it more family-friendly than it was. But what do you know? 8 out of 10.